Alright guys, it is day 15 on the uh, carnivore diet and uh, I feel like I'm currently in the eye of the storm as how I niched it yesterday, but now I definitely feel like it. Uh, my mother's finally getting sick. She's got the sneezing, the coughing, uh, the hot and cold fever, uh, the full body aches, the cramps, the, she could barely walk. Um, and I've told her, you know, go slow, hold on to things because that's how I was. Um, <clears throat> today I woke up, I didn't feel any better, I had a little bit of a headache, and I got, went, to, went to get up out of bed to go to the bathroom, which was just a straight run from my bed, and uh, as soon as I got up, I was dizzy as can be, I sat back down, a couple minutes later I got back up again, I just thought I got up too quick, and I got like halfway to my bathroom and I felt like I was back on, a, on the fucking Titanic you know, bat on the ship on the high seas, it was just, everything was like, I'm like, oh, okay. Go to the bathroom, come out, go to get dressed, gotta go back in again. I went back and forth from my toilet to the exiting of my bathroom to get out of my bedroom about three times to the point where I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna go to work today because I don't need to be shitting my pants on the way to work, which I just turn around and come home or shit my pants at work, or try to get to the bathroom multiple times at work. Uh, it's just, today just wasn't a good day. I just, plus, I couldn't even get out of my bedroom half the time. When I finally did, I got on the scale and I weighed myself. Uh, and I, today I was, I came down to 236 pounds, I think. Is that what it was earlier? 236 was today's weigh-in? Something like that. 235. 235 was today's weigh-in. So, it's not bad. Lost a little bit more weight. And, uh, <coughs> still got the cough. Um, we didn't have breakfast. Neither of us were hungry. Uh, lunch time, lunch time came around. And, uh, we had the leftover ribs from last night. Uh, we still have leftover ribs. So I'll probably take like one or two of them with me to work tomorrow for lunch. Put them in a container in my cooler and, and so forth. Maybe take some of these chicken wings that I'm about to get into. So we actually made some deep fried chicken wings. I always use a blanket and stuff to fold it up so you guys can see it better. In case anybody's wondering, why is he always putting the blanket on his ass? It's just because my phone and the table and nothing lines up right. So... Here's my little bowl. It's uh, six pieces. It's nothing crazy. Just six pieces to start off with. They're deep fried. Uh, so we used to use, I think, Auntie Anne's or Auntie House or something like that, uh, flour for fried chicken. It was literally meant for just fried chicken. And we loved it until we read the ingredients. And it was like, holy shit. There's, there's ingredients in that bag of flour that I would never, ever thought would be in it. I mean, it was like one ingredient was flour, and it was at the end, and the top of the beginning, it was like bleach and, and starch. Uh, not starch, bleach and acids, and it, you, you could look it up. I'm not even going to go down the line, but check your shit. Before you buy it, check your shit. So anyway, long story short, so I got some chicken wings that had some fat on them already. So they're... Oh, Jesus Christ, Pearl. Fucking Houdini cat. Where the fuck did you come from? She literally, like, manifests over here. Fucking scared the crap out of me. I said chicken wings, and boom, she manifests over here. Come on. Come on. Want some chicken? Get on the couch. Psychopath. Anyway... I got 50 shades of gray hair. See, this is why my hair is turning white. Uh, anyway, so I, I, I was looking online on how I can have my fried chicken attempt to have my fried chicken. Why can't the camera see you? Yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Nice all the eyes. So, let's see, now that I teased her, I gotta give her a piece. 
Mm. Oh. Wow, that's good. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm getting you a piece. Okay. There you go. You know, mom has fried chicken too. You can go get fried chicken from her. So anyway, long story short. So on this website, I was looking for like a recipe like <coughs> for fried chicken and stuff. What? You don't want it? Took two bites of it. Okay. And I came across, and they're talking about this thing called pork panko fried pork rinds. And I'm like, I was never really into pork rinds to begin with. But apparently I can eat them as a snack, so I guess if I get hungry, I might as well buy my, get myself some bags of pork rinds. I sit there at work eating pork rinds. Pork rinds and pork farts. Nobody will touch me. Anyway, so I looked it up, and anyway, this is what we have. These are pork, panko. As you can see, zero total carbohydrates, um, which is great. The ingredients you'll love even better. It's pork rinds cooked in pork fat and salt. Literally. The ingredients. The ingredients. That's what the ingredients should have. What the fuck is in it? That's it. Simple. You know, directions. Place, use in place of panko breadcrumbs in any recipe. <laughs> recipe. I had a, be had a piece and I'm already speaking the different language. 6 grams of fat, 1 gram of saturated, 25 milligrams of cholesterol, 30, 380 gram, milligrams of sodium, 0 carbs, 0 dietary fibers, 0 sugars, and 10 grams of protein, and 1% of iron. 0 vitamin A, 0 calcium, and 0 vitamin C. So it's not something you eat with a spoon, and the serving size is half an ounce and it is 24 servings per container. So, I used that much for, I think, 24 chicken wings, give or take. Mmm. Uh, how does it taste? Well, it's the first time I'm eating chicken wings without hot sauce. <laughs> and I like the flavor. Honestly, if someone was to give me my old style, like, um, flour that I was talking about, and one of these gave me, like, one of the pork rind, pork rind wing and a flour wing, I couldn't tell the difference. The only difference is, is that this is healthier than the flour. Mmm. That's crazy. I was really afraid it was going to be, like... Like pork rainy, I guess. I know it's not really a word, but you know how sometimes like weird things that you would never think taste good that go together. You know, like lamb and tuna fish. Oh, have that on a sandwich. Well, can't have sandwiches anymore. We have some lamb, smother it in tuna fish. Oh, it's so good. I don't know if it is. I've never tried it. Never had the balls to. Mm. I'm trying to find like okay here we go like big coated pieces I mean just bone slides right out of the meat just don't you love it when your bone slides right out hmm it doesn't even taste like
It just tastes like fried chicken. It's crazy. It doesn't <laughs> taste like pork. <coughs> doesn't have any mystery flavor. All I did was sprinkle a little extra salt on it. Just to kind of grab any of the residual oil. That's it. So, my fingers taste like salty fried chicken. It's crazy. So, if you guys want to do anything fried, such as fried chicken, um, I would say definitely hit up Amazon like I did. Make sure it's the pork panko. And if it's not this one in particular, make sure it has zero total carbohydrates. Get rid of the carbs. Um, because if you're in the transition period like we are, and you're having the coughing, the seizing, the, the, the headaches, the spaciness, the brain fog, the diarrhea... <coughs> The diarrhea, the muscle pain, uh, the body aches, the irritability, the um, brain fog kicking in again, um, insomnia. Uh, I was also, one of the other symptoms I had on Friday <coughs> was I was tired all day long. And I was sitting at my computer before I left or early, literally just like dozing off dozing off but I wouldn't stay asleep long I'd stay asleep for like maybe like two to three minutes maybe five minutes and I'd just wake right back up and I kept doing that over and over again and then I just started feeling worse and worse but I tried to combat that as quick as possible over the weekend so my mother wouldn't have to suffer through what I went through on Friday so she has more of a milder uh, effects but um, oh also today I forgot to freaking babbling away eating my chicken wings. Another thing we did too, try to help things, is take you guys with me. Try to move shit so I don't end up on the floor again. Another thing we did, try to combat the issue of uh, different things going wrong in our, when our bodies transitioning, was I ended up ordering from Whole Foods is some organic chicken broth. Now this is legitimate chicken broth. This isn't like, you know, the chicken broth we threw away. This chicken broth comes out looking like coconut water, in case you guys are wondering. And there is there's chicken, organic chicken broth, which is filtered water, organic chicken stock, less than 2% of organic chicken flavor, sea salt, organic celery, juice concentrated organic carrot juice concentrate so everything in it is safe and all I did was I just put it on my stove see these I bought a bunch of them all I did was put it in a pot on my stove brought it up to a boil took it off the boil and we put them in coffee cups and that's what we had today a couple times for drinks we had you know one one coffee cup each we also cut out the coffee in the morning because we started realizing that the coffee was actually making us even more hydrated, uh, dehydrated. <laughs> if coffee was making us hydrated, that'd be funny. Uh, it was making us even more dehydrated drinking black coffee, so we got rid of the coffee for now until we can get past this transition period. Uh, I think then once we get past the transition period, we can start actually bringing back like coffee or, or whatnot, but until then, no coffee. And uh, just water. I also grabbed um, two packs of the alkaline water, electrolyte and alkaline water from uh, Whole Foods as well. <clears throat> that's also helped uh, to deal with the transition period. And I think that's really it for me to tell you guys. But uh, it's, you know, it's, what is it, it's day 15. And it's, I've been 15 days sober uh, thanks to this diet. Uh, I have no urges, no cravings for alcohol, no need, no want. I was actually going through my email, uh, unsubscribing from companies that I had accounts with uh, for buying, buying booze and liquor. So, uh, yeah. But uh, other than that, uh, 
I hope you guys like, subscribe, share it with your friends. And, uh, you know, I hope some of this information helps you. If you're starting off or you want to start off on it, you get to see what it's actually truly like day by day. And uh, I can't wait to see start seeing some more results. I definitely have, you know, less of a belly, you know, before. And, you know, I'd be sitting here, my belly would be out a little bit, you know, further, further out. So I definitely have a lot less belly. Oh, and some good news today, too. Uh, when I started this diet... Uh, just about two weeks ago, I was a size 42. I'm now a 38. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I had a pair of shorts that were in this pile that, you know, like of clothes I used to wear. And uh, I was sitting at, when I was at home, I went to the bathroom for the 30th time. And I'm watching Ron White on my phone going, You guys ever take crap so big your pants fit better? I hope that happens later. It happens to me later today. <laughs> I'm hoping one big giant turd away from backing into an old wardrobe. And that was what was in my hip. So I said, hmm. So I walked over and I'm trying to find a pair of shorts to wear. I know I butchered the joke. But uh, <laughs> I was trying to find an old pair of shorts to wear. And I pick it up and it says 38s. And I'm like, yeah, I ain't fitting in these fuckers. And I put them on and didn't even have to suck in to, put, to button them up and zip them up. And I was like, yo, I've never felt that good. So... If I could feel that good after two weeks, and even though I'm feeling like shit now, it's definitely worth to fucking try this. Definitely worth it. And my exercise is moderate. I went out and mowed the lawn with my mother. She went, did one side, I did the other. You know, both of us not feeling good. We didn't really get far. Um, I think I was out there maybe for like half an hour or so, and I was exhausted. Uh, I walked over to my mechanic to pick up one of my vehicles. Um wasn't bad. I got halfway there. I realized I should have brought water. I was extremely cotton mouth. Like, I, I, my mouth was so dry, I had no, like, way of producing saliva. So when I got there, I drank a cup of water. And then when I got my truck, turned it on, had a bottle of water in the truck, and started drinking that water until I kind of was feeling less of a, uh, uh, cotton mouth, and then drove home. But, uh, other than that, guys... I'll see you tomorrow, <coughs> and uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy. <laughs>